In the Midwest, you might be surprised to learn that Wyandotte County is ground zero in the fight against breast cancer. Now, the number of women in Wyandotte County dying from breast cancer is one of the highest in the country. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is now going door to door, helping more women understand what she's actually been through personally. Cynthia. Yeah, the sad reality is that women are dying of breast cancer, and I could have been one of them. However, this month I am celebrating five years as a breast cancer survivor. Thanks to the people who warned me to get man mammograms every year and do my monthly self exams. So now I'm going door to door, warning at risk women in Wyandotte County in a month long project we're calling Newsom's House Calls. I'm making a house call because this is personal. I want to meet face to face and heart to heart to listen and learn and be a friend. It's my first time meeting Valerie, but we're like longtime friends catching up, and our conversation is about to get real honest real fast. A 2015 study by Susan G. Komen of Greater Kansas City revealed that the death rate for women in Wyandotte County diagnosed with breast cancer is 28.5 per 100,000. That's higher than the national breast cancer death rate of 22.6 per 100,000. The problem is women are getting diagnosed too late. I got a mammogram probably several years ago and I haven't did it since. She knows better. My mom was diagnosed in December 1997. Is that a big reason that you also put it off because yes. of the family history? And I just, my mom had breast cancer. So I'm like, Will I get breast cancer? If I go get the mammogram, are they going to tell me this devastating news? What's going to happen? I'm going to cry in a minute. Oh my God. I'm, I'm just, I just want to get it done. Valerie decided to get a mammogram two weeks ago at a health fair at New Bethel Church. She learned that a program called Early Detection Works offers free rides and free mammograms. She's working two part time jobs and just can't afford it. Everyone doesn't have a car, everyone doesn't have access to the bus, or they might not have money. And that's what we're trying to do is get out and inform, educate, support. Years of waiting and worrying ended quickly. Valerie found out the next day she's fine, no sign of breast cancer. She'll be back next year for another mammogram. Whatever the outcome is, I'll just have to do what I need to do. Ready to find out and fight if she has to instead of avoiding the truth and possibly finding out too late. Now, another organization focused on helping women in Wyandotte County get their mammograms is Surviving the Odds. And founder Consuelo Ross will be answering your questions in a live chat with me at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I just log on to our KSHB Facebook page. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.